Hey guys, what's going on and welcome back again to VR Hackers YouTube channel. Namaste. And today in this video tutorial, I'm going to talk about Apache Web Servers. Basically, what is Apache Web Servers? Why we need Apache Web Servers in ethical hacking and penetration testing? And how to configure Apache Web Servers? Okay, so without any further delay, let's get started. So first of all, Apache Web Servers is a kind of web service. Apache is a web service which is used inside a Linux operating system to share files to other clients in our network. Basically, if I have installed Apache Web Servers inside my Linux computer system, so I can able to share files to the other system which is connected to my local area network or World Wide Web. It means in internet, right? So why we need apache web servers for ethical hacking and penetration testing for practicing purpose why that's the question good question so the reason behind why we need apache web server is that if i installed apache web server inside my linux operating system so for example let me give you an example i made up a payload for a windows operating system right now i have to test that specific payload inside a different different windows operating system so for uh, for a sharing purpose what i can do i just put that specific payload inside my apache directory so i can access it into the any other operating system using his ip address so i can use his ip address and i can access that specific um, files and I can download it into my Windows operating system. But if I don't have an Apache web server, what I need to do, I just need to put my pen drive. I need to send that specific file to that pen drive, then paste it into the every single Windows operating system I have in Windows 10, in Windows 7, Windows 8, in Windows XP, whatever operating systems I'm running inside my virtual machines or in the LAN. Rather than doing this shit, what I can do, just share into the Apache web server, any operating system where you want to test or any operating system which uh, want that specific file it can download it that's it in simple and easy so why that is why we need Apache web server I'm going to show you the practical demonstration how to configure Apache web server and in my future videos I'm going to use the Apache web server services so you can um, in that time you can understand more what I'm trying to say so guys first thing you have to do just open up your terminal and give a command called service apache to start and press enter now the apache service is started in your computer now first check your ip address so give command if config go to the inet and you will be see your ip address 192.168.85.135 it can be a different your case so this is my IP address right uh, now inside I'm inside my Windows operating system now I open up my Internet Explorer you can open any browser you can use Chrome but I'm using virtual machine and the by default browser come inside Windows it's Internet Explorer right so I am going to give my IP address 192.168.85.135 which is my Linux IP address right Linux computer IP address when I click enter to my search bar so I see this page so basically this is a default page of Kali Linux Apache web server so you will be read something here it will say they replace this file inside the slash for slash www slash to html slash index dot html just the change the name of this file into anything so let's change the name of a file so let's get back into a Kali Linux operating system so first I'm going inside my file systems so this is my file system inside my file system you will see war var inside the where you will be see a ww folder inside the www you see html so slash var slash ww slash html inside the html you see a page called index dot html just rename the name of this file so i'm just going to rename it into index one dot html just rename okay now i just rename this file name now now i show you now I get back into my Windows 7 operating system. I just reloaded the page. 
so you are seeing this i have the access of directory now let me share some kind of files right so i have some sort of wallpapers inside my window inside my linux operating system so i just get into the home now inside the home directories i inside downloads i have some sort of images and pictures so let me share this one let me share this one right so no this one this one is little cute right <laughs> so just uh, i just copy this file from here you can do this through terminal also like i'm just showing you through graphically but in my next video i'm going to whenever i demonstrate any practical i just show you through graphically so i just paste this file inside my apache web server directories now i just get back into my windows 7 operating system and i just refreshed my page so you are seeing that that the specific file that i shared with my windows operating system yeah there it is so you can see this simple you can save file you can share files through apache web server to the other client computers in the network i can also access these files inside my host machine so this is my windows host machine so let me show you now i just open up my windows 10 browser i just give a command core 192 so there is it is 192.168.85.135 which is my uh, linux host machine ip address so open link in new tab there's image i just say the save image as and i just save into my downloads right so that's inside my download and now i'm showing you show in folder so i can access the files i can share the files which is inside my linux operating system to the other operating system which is connected through the lan and as well as to the internet right so let me set as desktop background yeah. she's actually really cute <laughs> so thank you so much guys for watching this video